seventh wave of freshmen, our entire reason for being is we are bringing joy to the workplace. And that is by far something that we really believe in, not just with one our walls, but really why we're out doing what we're doing. Bringing joy to the workplace really derives from the fact that we have the ability to create moments of joy, whether it's in the workplace or with each other, or in moments anytime we interact with people. Anytime you have like that, oh, that felt so good, or I mean, I really needed that snack, or you're having a horrible day, but buddy, you need that cup of coffee. Joy is to make sure that we're able to achieve that from beginning here at the warehouse all the way to when they actually finish the transaction with us. Joy is kind of why we do everything. The reason I feel like a lot of people really want to kind of come and be a part of what we're doing is because we're not just going with a cookie cutter solution. We're not going with cookie cutter planograms. We are really selling our people and what the experiences that people are gonna have through our services. So we're not selling, hey, we're gonna deliver snacks for you. We're saying, tell us what you wanna achieve. Tell us what you wanna achieve. Is wellness important to you? Okay, let's develop, let's work together what that, what, what that looks like. Coffee is huge. Like, do you wanna support a local roaster or do you wanna have an amazing coffee experience or how, how about a barista? So there's things that we're able to create and develop for our customers and because our team is who they are, we have the flexibility to say, you know what, let's try it and see if it works. We were a startup, we were on QuickBooks. We ran everything on QuickBooks. Our first warehouse was the closet beside our first micromarket. So, and that was a short three years ago. So we were fortunate enough to have nothing already running so we could kind of sit back and research and analyze what direction we wanted to go. So in doing that research and comparing systems I had worked with before, systems Lynn and I had dealt with before, we kind of knew what was, what was in our best interest. So for me, it was a little bit of um, a lot of learning at the beginning. So because I've been in the industry for a long time, I'm very familiar with 365, but there was a little fear in me from being a small independent operator that I was like, oh man, they're just too big or it's not gonna benefit me. So to start off our business, we actually tried a lot of different providers to see which one resonated with us the most. And it was the greatest lesson for us because we learned that by having one customer, we actually end up receiving great service. The same that I experienced when I was part of a very large corporation. So for us, it was really important that our customer service was there. So very early on into our business, we partnered with 365 and we were like, okay guys, this is gonna be a big deal for us. And we did, we went from one to two kiosks to three kiosks to where we're at today. We have <clears throat> scaled our business today. We're around an $8 million business plus because we are growing um, by leaps and bounds. We have about 75 micro markets. We have over 150 coffee accounts and we have a lot of pantry accounts that have gone in as well. As I said, innovation is, is part of our, what we represent. So that's how we go to the customer is, you know, surrender innovation um, and seeing what 365 does on an ongoing basis uh, and keeping us up and running is, is what we're all about. If, we, if we're down, we're, we're, it's costing us money. We can't survive. Integrating our level 365 light speed all into one uh, is just, it's just so easy for us. You know, we, we're not calling three different support areas. You know, we have, everybody has some knowledge of one system or a lot of knowledge of, you know, every system. On the operations side, I trust a lot of people on my team and I, you know, whatever they say goes because I really believe their expertise, Dave Carroll, I understand and I value their opinion. And I even ask, why are we doing this, guys? I see the value of a VMS for the OCS, for the coffee size, but do we need to go through this exercise when we can capture everything here? Well, the moment we transitioned our kiosk to par level, I, I described this to someone and I was like, I can't believe I feel this way because I really feel this way. It was taking like a black and white world to complete colors. I mean, the reporting, the, the, um, the visibility we have now on the sites per time, per day, the averages, things like that were something that we had to work a little bit harder to gather and maybe use a lot of our brain power to get to capture. Now to have it all right there has been so brilliant to me. The seamless transition of having 365 in our kiosks and all of our markets 
to having par level as our VMS and back end and then having Lightspeed already in the warehouse before and then moving to fast track with them as well. Being able to seamlessly pull over orders for picking on Lightspeed Mobile is the exact same as pulling over orders for pulling our routes for our markets. And so being able to train everybody one system and being like, this is what you're looking at. I know it's exactly like what you just did, just replicate that for OCS. Or I know that you've been on a market before, it's gonna be the exact same for pantry. And so it's a lot easier to be able to train people because they're all looking at the same thing and like, oh, I, I know that, that looks familiar. Oh, I can hit this button, that looks familiar. Um, and being able to kind of have them all seamlessly intertwine, but each of them being able to do their own special thing in the background has been really, really helpful. I think our vision has always just been set on joy, to be really honest. It's never really been on um, a dollar figure, even though there's a dollar figure that we say, we're gonna get this, guys, just because we're competitive and it's super fun. But to us, it's just really building a company that people can feel proud of, not only us, but our customers can feel proud of and maintaining that level of growth because of that.